Hi everybody. So I just wanted to share what's incoming. Yet another. And if it's anything like um, a predictor, the pretty one is still trouble. Okay, I don't, I don't like throwing, just throwing, I don't like just throwing stuff on the floor, but I guess I should. Okay, let's hope my pooch doesn't go for any of that stuff. Anyway, it's This is a very dirty parted out machine. Very dirty. Do you want to know my thinking on this? It's probably going to work. It's probably going to work. Okay, she has a bobbin case. She has that usual singer, singer odor to it. Maybe not exactly or not exactly um, specific to the featherweight, but she is looking greasy, is super tacky. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. Um, I can't see what's in the camera. There we go. So she's um, pretty messed up, as you could see. Let me see if I could uh, rearrange the camera and get a clearer shot. I hope this is a better shot to show you what she looks like. Um, she's not pretty by anyone's standard. I mean, even an ogre would say she's a beast. But look, the pretty one was a beast and she didn't even... She looked better, but she didn't work. I'm going to predict that this beast on the outside so interesting. Look at this. She's so grunged up. I don't even think she ever had... Sorry. I don't think she ever had a decal on here. At least I don't see anything. Unless this whole light is a replacement light. But, as you could see... She's in nasty condition, and yeah, I'm going to test her to see if she works before I give up on her. So, let me zoom out a little bit. Not that much. Okay, there. So let me get a screwdriver. I have no idea what year she's from. I know that from there to me. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. She's going to need an Andy tube kind of bath. See that? She might end up in the car wash. That is nasty, nasty. All right, so what I'm going to show you is the person put... Oh. The person put the brackets for the wires in here and gave them to me. 
that's kind of nice. So that's a good thing. I don't know what attracts me to these machines, but okay. So the foot is ugh, the foot is now it's down. Let's look in here. What do you think? Hi, yay, yay. And the stitch regulator. It moves. It moves. She's not locked up. She's not locked up. Not locked up. I'll end up putting a pin, um, a, a pin, a machine needle in there, and try to run her. Let's look at the back. Look at that. Did you ever see um, top coat come off like that? Anyway, she's nasty. So you know, if she ends up working, you know she's getting painted. No one on here, I think, would cry about that. Uh, it's gunky. It's gunky. Um, this machine came from up in Canada. So, I, again, I don't know any of her history. Look at that. Oh, there it goes, Semenko, and it's an original. It's an original Semenko. So, she's gunked up, but gunked up we could work with. Um, do you want to do the usual? Who's ready to see this? Now, this bottom plate is in one of the worst conditions ever. What is her serial number? AG620052. So I'll be looking that up. See her little feet? Totally like melted in there. They're gone. Now, it might seem strange to you, but this is the kind of machine that I like to receive. Because I feel like this is the kind of machine I can get working. I'm actually anticipating what's in here. So, are you ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so there's that. So this is her felt pad that catches the oil. That's it. And there she is. Not great, not terrible. She's nice and gunked up in there, but I know you could see that. But I'll get her cleaned up. That's not a problem. The problem is when they don't sew. So, I'm turning that. Is she missing anything up here in the nose plate? She has a hook. I see a little bit of rust on some of the nails. The nails. The screws. She'll be getting cleaned up. She's not missing anything, you know, immediately to the eye here that I can see. Okay, she's not very smooth running. I'm not going to say she is. This is pretty clean. But she'll be getting cleaned up in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. This will not move. So. I'm not worried about scratching her, that's for sure. Sometimes I get on here and I pick up accents from other parts of the country. 
just saying. All right, so she's in the condition that I expected her to be in. I have to say that. Maybe she's a little worse <coughs> than I thought. But she has her switch. She has a stitch regulator. She has her bobbin winder guide. Um, she has her spool pin. She has her tensioner. She has her throat plate. She's missing her face plate or her needle plate. Um, she has all of these components, which is nice. She even has a foot on there that's rusty. So um, she has her lifter, needle bar lifter, and it's in and it's working. She doesn't have a motor, and she doesn't have a hand wheel, balance wheel, but I have a balance wheel. That I know I have. I do have a motor, and I could probably scare up a needle bar plate, a face plate, if I need to. But I'm going to see if she's working first before I put anything into her. So anyway, that's it. Um, I will let you know her status in a little while. I'll let you know what year she is. This is like a mummified. I'm not kidding. It's like it's mummified. This is very oxidized. That's lead. Be careful. I'll be careful with that. When I touch it, I'll have gloves on. This is just, you know, styrofoam. She was packed in my favorite styrofoam. Not. Not my favorite. And, like I said, she moves. So, I'm going to... Give her a run, and I'll let you know. I'm glad that she has her light in the light fixture. That's a nice thing to not have to invest in. And that's it. Okay, so look at all that pitting. So there's no um, on the fence about painting her. If she's going to work, she's going to get painted. And that's the end of the story. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you when I see ya. Operate the machine. Bye. So, here goes. You're doing this with me, folks. You're doing this with me. Now, remember the other machine was binding up and binding up, and I think it had to do something with her gear... I forgot what they call it, gear rock shaft. It's a horizontal shaft in the bottom of the machine. And um, ooh, the fabric's getting dirty. I'm glad I don't care about this fabric. So that's pretty good. I'm feeling the back. Um, let's take a look. Ready? Well, the top stitches are nice. The top stitches are nice. Can you see the stitching? At least you could see the stitching. I know it's dirty. But are you ready? Okay. It's not perfect, but let me tell you. Wow. Wow. It is not perfect. But let me tell you, it is stitching. And with some there. Wow. With some minor adjustments. And you know what it is. That bobbin is the bobbin from the machine that won't work. So obviously then it's something wrong with the machine itself. And like I said, I think that it's this um, horizontal shaft underneath gear shaft. Let me see what it's called. Let me help you all out to help me out. Rotary hook shaft. That's what I'm trying to say. It's the rotary hook shaft below the machine. And I think that I'm having an issue with what is called... Hold on. It's a counterbalance. 
cog in the bottom of the machine. I believe it's counterbalance, it's called. Okay, so it's called counterbalance, that's it. And it has a set screw in it that I can't move. And if I could get it to move, I might be able to set that um, rotary hook shaft correctly to the point it should be at. I don't know why anybody monkeyed with it, but that's probably why they gave the machine up. Is because they didn't know what to do, and there you have it. Anyway, I think this was pretty awesome. Even though she's in this kind of condition. There we go. Those are almost stitches that I wouldn't even adjust. Seriously. I am not seeing any of the top thread. I'm not seeing the top thread on the bottom. Let me get myself straight here. This is the bottom. So I'm hardly seeing any white thread from the top at all. And no bobbin thread, which is the purple, coming up on the top. So that's pretty awesome. I'm happy about that. Are the stitches locking? They're locking. They're locking. On the other machine, the stitches are so loose that I could pull this thread out and just pull the thread out. And as you could see, there were hole marks from the other efforts. And I would just take the thread. Oh, here. This is from the other machine. This is from the little beast. So beautifully on the top was a beast on the bottom. Interesting. Anyway, I thought I would share. I'll get back to you on what year this machine is, and I will get back to you um, with any updates on either one of the machines that I have to share with you. Thanks so much again for watching, and I hope you're enjoying this. Take care. Bye-bye.